Welcome to GatorZone.com. I'm Chris Harry alongside Scott Carter. We just got off the college basketball gravy train as the Gators went to the Final Four. Now we're back and it's, we're right away on the football field. It's time for spring football to wrap up. The spring football game, the orange and blue game, is Saturday right here in the swamp. And Scott, I think a lot of the football fans are anxious to see what, what's in store for this Gator football team coming off that 4-8 and eight season. I guess it starts off with the fact that there is a spring game. Last year it was pretty much a glorified spring practice because there was so much injuries and kind of that carried over in the season with a lot of injuries in the regular season. And we just got done talking with some offensive linemen who are actually going to play a football game this weekend, aren't we? Yeah, I mean, Chaz Green is one guy certainly uh, glad to be back. You know, Chaz missed all of last year with shoulder surgery. He's being counted on as one of the starters this year. And you're right, I mean, they are a healthier group as than we really saw last season. Tyler Moore is back after an elbow uh, injury. Uh, Max Garcia obviously he's moved to center, but he's healthy. Uh, who else? We got Trenton Brown's back. So there's some names to roll out. Like last year this time, there was a, there was not enough names and there was not a spring game. But Muschamp has talked this week about how, you know, he wants to uh, get a real live look at the offense and defense on Saturday in the orange and blue game. And they should be able to do that as, you know, as long as the next couple of days of practice goes well. Now the first thing that the offensive linemen were talking about is this up-tempo offense and the fact that they're moving a lot faster, a lot more plays. Yeah. You know, moving moving the football a lot more. You talked to Jeff Driscoll. What are his thoughts about Kurt Roper and this new offensive scheme? Well, you can tell he he likes this offense. He said he's more comfortable with what they're doing right now. It gives his athleticism a kind of a chance to shine. I mean, we're going to see him run some uh, like we have in the past, but maybe just more design runs. And also, I mean, it's it's an offense that creates space for the uh, skill players. And you know, a, a guy like Driscoll, if he can get the ball to those guys, that's that's what. They were kind of lacking. He said really what was lacking two years ago and last year were kind of explosive plays. Sure. Two years ago, they didn't really need it because their defense was so good. Last year, obviously, it really hurt them. You know, there was a, several points in games where if they could just made a big play or two, maybe an outcome would have been different, but they weren't able to. And he's hoping that with a new offense, a new offensive coordinator, and some uh, receivers coming on that they can make some of those plays. You referenced that defense. Uh, it's basically got to replace a lot of people, better, whether it's up front with the guys like Ronald Powell, What's going on on the defensive side of the football? Well, I mean, it's going to be a young defense. The two guys that we just talked to in there who are going to be counted on to lead this group is a defensive back Vernon Hargraves sure. and Dante Fowler, defensive end. I mean, both of those guys are very, very talented. They're young, but they've had really good uh, seasons in their time here at Florida. But they're going to need more than that. You got some veteran leaders like Michael Taylor coming back, Nyron Ball, so Antonio Morris, a linebacker. But the secondary, you know, you lose four key guys. Starting with uh, Marcus Roberson, Luches Pierrefoy, Cody Riggs, and uh, I know I'm forgetting one, Jalen Watkins. Sure. So, I mean, you lose four veteran guys. That's hard for any team to replace. Luckily, they've recruited really well there. So, you got some young guys like Keanu Neal, Nick Washington. Uh, so, there, there's some guys there. That's probably a spot that you're going to see the position battles, you know, go down to fall camp. So, we're, nothing's going to be decided here in terms of uh, starting lineups, you know, before Saturday. Uh, the spring game, but you know they do have some players they like there. Yes, and the players that they do like there will be out here for a preview for all Gator fans to see. Scott Carter will be there. I'm Chris Harry, and I'll be there. Stay with Gator Zone for coverage of the Orange and Blue game. See you then.